Hi everyone, welcome back to ITPK. In today's video, we will learn the steps on how to create and deploy security baseline policy for Windows devices using Microsoft Intune. Security policy in Microsoft are templates that contains policy configuration that by default configured with the best practices by Microsoft specialized team and that make security baseline the perfect starting point when creating a new policy set for modern workplace. When creating a security baseline, all settings are perfectly configured with the security best practices from Microsoft. However, you can change the setting according to your needs. To manage security baseline in Microsoft Intune, your account must have policy and profile manager role. Sign in to Microsoft Endpoint as an global administrator or Intune service administrator or policy and profile manager administrator. To log in into Microsoft Intune, please use this URL intune.microsoft.com. So first let's go ahead and create a group where we assign security baseline policy. I am in all group. I am going to new group and I want to name this group security baseline policy. Right, I want to add the same description here and scroll down and we can add devices as a member in this group and click create we will make sure and we will deploy that the devices in security baseline group must have windows firewall and windows defender turned on right so let's go directly to endpoint security in the endpoint security you will find this option security baseline once you click on security baseline you will find out different security were already in the list now select the baseline which you want to use so let's go to security baseline for windows 10 and later in this example we are going to this security baseline here now click on create profile to create a profile for Windows 10 and later devices. Let's click on create. Type a meaningful name for your security policy baseline profile. So I'll type a name and description. Make sure you have typed a description that is clear for you to understand. So I'm going to click next. On this page, we can see all these settings recommended by Microsoft. Each setting in the security baseline has a default configuration for the security baseline version. This will help us understand the configuration quickly and set up them according to our requirements. You don't need to apply everything. So go through the settings and apply the settings according to your requirements. This is likely similar to group policy. We can change settings to not configured if those settings are not required by our corporate organization. So go through settings and change according to your corporate requirements. For example, let's go to administrative template and here we have a setting that prevent enabling lock screen camera. Prevent enabling lock screen slideshow. This is just for your understanding that for example, I don't want to change this setting or I want to set this setting as not configured that prevent enabling lock screen camera. I want to set it to not configured, right? We don't want to prevent the lock screen camera or the camera on the lock screen. Again, please note that this is just for your understanding. So I have set up this settings to not configured. Okay, I have disabled uh, that other setting, but in our tutorial today we want to include microsoft defender and firewall settings so let's uh, navigate to firewall settings as i mentioned earlier that these settings are already configured as recommended by microsoft you can 
go through one by one for all of these settings and you can adjust these settings according to your requirement. So in my case, I am okay with all of these settings related to firewall. Now let's try to find here uh, Microsoft Defender setting. Uh, here you go. Let's expand Microsoft Defender settings here. Uh, let's try to find here real time protection should be set to yes. So yeah, real time scan direction is enabled. That's perfect. Here we just want to confirm that it's real time protection is turned on for all of the time. And there are several other settings that we want them to be enabled. So allow on access protection that is allow, allow real time monitoring that is also allowed. That's perfect. Allow scanning of all download files and attachments that is perfect. Is also allowed. Allow full scan. Allow full scan removable drive scanning that is also enabled and that is perfect again i want to remind you that you can change any of these settings according to your requirement as my tutorials are mostly just to show you just try to explain you just to give you the path to set up or configure anything so you can set up these settings according to your requirement so now let's suppose in this test environment i am going with this default setting and i'm okay with all these settings related to microsoft firewall and microsoft defender and also as i have disabled the first option in control panel personalization that prevent enabling lock screen camera so on the lock screen it's saying that don't allow camera to be turned on so it was enabled i set it to not configured is we want to turn that camera on on the lock screen that's fine and i'm going to click next here i'm okay with default scope tag here let's click next and here if you remember we have created a group security baseline group so i will target that security baseline group for my policy here and make sure if you have added any group here that should have devices to be targeted right on the targeted devices for the first time i would recommend you that only add one device in a group first to test that once you are okay with that one device then proceed further and you can add more than one devices later on once you are 100% sure with your policy settings. Click next. At this point, you can review all of the settings that you have defined. And if you are okay with all of these settings, you can go ahead and you can click create. Now we got the caution that policy is created. Configure Windows Defender Firewall and Antivirus. This is the policy name here and we can see our policy in the security baseline for windows 10 and later so this policy might apply successfully when the device gets checked in with microsoft in tune or the device gets synced with microsoft in tune also in the settings if you want to edit this setting or if you want to change any option related to this setting or if you want to update any option related to this setting you can come here to configuration profile and then you can scroll down a little and where you will see configuration settings and you can click on edit to edit these settings according to your requirement so i am now in the edit mode and here i can edit any settings according to my requirement so I am not changing that. This was just for your explanation. I am going to cancel this. After we apply the security baseline policy, that could usually take up to 24 hours to get applied to the devices. Right? Sometimes this could be immediate. Sometimes this could take few minutes. Sometimes this could take 24 hours. 
a day. So once your device will get synced with Microsoft Intune and pick up the security baseline setting, you can go to that computer device and you can check first Microsoft Defender. You will see that real-time protection is on, cloud delivered protection is on, and automatic sample submission protection is also turned on. And the user will not be able to turn off these settings, right? And you will also see the message on this setting that this setting is managed by your administrator, right? User have user doesn't have any control to change. This setting right so let's go ahead and also I want to show you the Windows firewall setting now I am in the Windows firewall setting and in the screen and you can see Microsoft Defender firewall is turned on and we don't have any control to turn that off on the computer where we have applied our security baseline settings and we could also see the message that this setting is managed by your administrator and this setting could not be turned off that means we have successfully deployed our security baseline settings in our test environments that's all about this video that how to create a security baseline policy for windows and later devices using Microsoft in tune. I hope you have enjoyed this simple and to the point tutorial. Keep watching and don't forget to subscribe for more. Take care. Bye.